Okay, why the company, why now, why apps? They tell me that 90% of the people that are going to use Android and iPhone haven't even been born yet. They're going to have needs that we can't imagine. Having engineers design buildings is great, but it's old school stuff. It's very rarely new stuff. I watched a video about Apple, Apple building their new center in Cupertino and everything that they're doing is stuff that's already been tried. Once you design a building, it's sort of set in concrete and you got to do that stuff. But what I want to do is have schools where children are given a laptop, $100 laptop, a $200 laptop, and the ability to create an app Using App Empire or, or MIT's basic app where they drag and drop because they're going to come up with ideas that we've never thought of. Now, having stuffy old programmers design out of what they know makes the application ancient already. They're designing apps based on what they know. We need to design apps based on what is coming based on what we don't know, based on what is happening tomorrow, tomorrow, the next day. Okay, so John Han is designing apps, Byron is designing apps, Tsung Chang is designing apps, Aaron is in China and has a mission field, and he's also a businessman. He, he makes money. He, he goes around the world and he makes money. We, we need to be diverse. Edith is a mission field in the Philippines in a town called Baguio in the mountains. And, and I've been there and I've been arrested and I've, and I've been taken captive by the MPA and, and they need missionaries. Veronica is in uh, um, Kenya. We're talking about poverty. We're talking about children. She runs an orphanage. Um, she's, Edith and, and Veronica are starting schools where we use rented computers so that people can study how to build apps. One computer, five people. Four people watching somebody work and coming up with ideas. And then, of course, it changes. And each of the individuals then becomes in charge of the team and it, and it gives more ideas again Robert Clark um, I was in Hong Kong working on missions Robert Clark wanted to start a mission company I went into China where there are a vast number of trained engineers who are out of work and we can start schools and we can invite doctorate students and people who can't get jobs to come in sit at a computer, come up with ideas, blow them past Tung Chang, blow them past John Hand, blow them past Byron, put them together so that we can come up with new apps. We're not going to know which ones go viral. If, if it was possible to know which video, which app is going to go viral, well then we would just work on that one. I don't know. I started working on apps because I want to help the Hesperian Foundation help people with apps that tell them when the baby's healthy, with apps that tell them what kind of drugs they need, with apps that tell them about wounds and what they're looking at. In other words, where there is no doctor. And there's a great deal of evidence that where there is no doctor is changing the world. Where there is no doctor is changing the world. Um, if you look at if you look at the programs they'll tell you that aid has changed the, the world enormously because we we teach people how to keep their babies alive and have less babies and stay alive longer. Okay Again, I, I'm going to be the president because somebody has to be the president. I'm initiating this. Jesse's going to be the secretary, the, the
the, like the Secretary of State, the Secretary of the company. Um, he doesn't wear a dress and do typing, although I think it would be funny to see him in a lava lava from, from out in the ocean, because I've worn them. The Samoan lava lava is nothing but a tube, and some people wear underwear. And it's really amusing when you don't know how to tie them on because they fall off. And if you're not wearing underwear, that can be a little more than embarrassing, but Jesse will work on that one later. My daughter is a typist and she's looking up words and she's looking up applications. Jesse's wife is a secretary and like I told Jesse, the idea is to not do things to get them done. The idea is to do things with people around you and say to them, this is what we're doing, what do you think? And, and get them involved in business at the church, Jesse, to get them involved in, in your programming, John, in your work, Byron. Uh, so you need to go back to Ho Chi Minh City, Saigon, and start a school. There are millions of engineers who have been trained in Eastern Europe who have no work, and so they end up making viruses because they have to prove that they can do something and the only time they can do something is to create something that causes fanfare for their company. Okay, why the company missions? Why us? Um, why Aaron? Why Edith? Why? Why? Because we need this. Um, how? Uh, Mercy is feeding Jesse paperwork and we're going to open an Arizona company because I found it it's the easiest one to do all across the United States and uh, we're going to open this company and it's going to be a 60-40 uh, company 60% goes to missions 40% is divvied among, up among uh, shareholders in the company and I think we all need shares. Lead programmers like John and Byron get more shares than missions running schools but we need to work together. Okay, this is video three. Video four is coming.